and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about a new bike that's coming, expected anyway, uh, later this summer, late summer 2023. So you can't get it yet, but I can tease you about it as much as I know about it, which isn't a whole lot, but let's just talk about it anyway. So it's the, if you've heard of the name uh, Quiet Cat, it's Quiet Cat Lynx is the name of the bike and it's not, <clears throat> or I should say what catches my eye is something that is different for them. It's the first cafe moto style e-bike basically moped but with pedals and all so it's still considered a bicycle but it's the style that I kind of like and that's why it caught my eye and I wanted to do a video on it so I'll give you the little bit of information that I know about it besides it being expected to be released or launched in late summer 2023 what i do know about the bike is that it's going to be a 1000 watt rear hub motor two speed and i do not know the voltage I do not know the battery size, anything like that. Controller, don't know. I do know the tires. So they're going to be using V Huntsman tires. The motor style tires that are 24 by four and a half inches. So a pretty hefty tire. It is going to have a full suspension. It's a two piston hydraulic brakes, disc brakes. I saw two colors. I saw black or silver. And I think there's one that's a combination of both. Some black and some silver, uh, like a half and half kind of thing. but. I would likely choose the black on this bike. Every bike, to me, has a certain color that seems to suit them. And on this bike, I think the black, although the silver didn't look bad, this is a really sharp looking bike. I will leave a, a link in the description if you want to go and check it out. Um, it is a impressive looking uh, style I like it it's a little bit different it does have a rear rack I saw on there I assume that comes with it but I'm not sure on that one it is Bluetooth enabled so for uh, tracking and anti-theft that's a good thing and that's just about all that I know of the bike. I don't know anything more, at least not yet. Maybe we'll get in uh, more information on it in the coming days. But I do encourage you to go and check it out. I will leave a link in the description. And see what you think and let me know in the comments. Definitely one, in my opinion, to keep your eye on if you're looking for that style of bike. The cafe, moto, moped style bike. I would certainly look at it. Now, I do know, well, as an approximate, I shouldn't say the exact uh, price, but I do know a, uh, an estimated price what they're expecting the bike to, at least they're estimating it to cost. And they're, they're saying $4,000.
Now that would be US of course. So that probably sounds, I don't know what to make of that, whether that's a little high or not. It's a thousand watt motor, but I guess we have to wait to judge that because we don't know what size the battery is yet. And uh, we don't know anything about the controller that they're gonna put on it or anything else. So we'll withhold our judgments on whether it's worth it or not. I mean, it looks great, looks wise, but you can't always go by looks alone. I mean, looks are part of your bike, right? When you buy a bike, you want one that looks, looks good too. I mean, that's one of the things that probably attracts you to the bike. I mean, the first time I saw the picture, I thought, oh yeah, I like, I like the looks of this bike. Let's read a little further into it. And um, that's generally what happens to me. I, I see a bike, first thing that I see is the bike and I see the look of the bike. And do I like the look of the bike? Looks aren't everything, but I mean, they're the first thing that catches my eye usually. And then you go from there to specs on the bike, you know. Um, what has it got for a motor? Like, what has it got for, uh, what's the voltage? What's the battery? And then we, we go from there, but. Like I say, I will leave a link in the descriptions and you can go and check it out for yourself. Let me see what you think. So that's the Quiet Cat Lynx. Kind of neat to see, in my opinion anyway, uh, companies that don't normally make the moped style bike and then come up with one. It's kind of reminding me a little bit this of uh, Rev, uh, the Rev 1. Some of the bikes that are coming out, you know, starting to come out now, or or new ones that are pretty soon uh, launching. The problem with that is we won't really get to ride them much this year. They're going to be more next year now. By the time you get one, you know, and and all that. So, but I guess better late than never. So we don't know when we can order these bikes yet. There's no info on that but it's going to be soon i think if they're going to sell this bike late summer then they're going to be taking pre-orders pretty soon i would think definitely a bike if you're interested in that style of bike the uh, cafe moto style definitely one to keep your eye on over the next little bit here see what See what the final product looks like and what the exact price is going to be and what all the specs are going to end up being.
and that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.